Hello. Today I'm here with Greg Bentley, CEO of Bentley Systems, and we're going to discuss the convergence of IT, OT, and ET. Greg, nice to have you with us. Dick, thank you. Uh, good morning. It's great to be here at the ARC Forum, and appropriately, we're all excited in this industrial internet of things. Uh, we're taking advantage of operational technologies to bring in real-time information, and then appropriately putting that in the context of librarians and history, transactions, and databases that represents our IT. What has us particularly excited at Bentley Systems is that there's yet another piece to add to that to get further value in this industrial internet of things. That's the ET, the digital engineering models. I like to think of it this way, that uh, it's like individual medicine. Uh, when we can monitor our body functions uh, and go to get diagnosed, the doctor can go beyond general medicine for individual medicine to compare, if you like, the IT, our own history. But what if we could go further than that to take account of our DNA and how we were designed individually? That seems formidable when we're talking about people. Our, our genome is still pretty inscrutable. Turns out for infrastructure assets and operating plants, the digital DNA actually exists. It's the digital engineering models by which the plants were designed and constructed. We can put that in service within this converged OT and IT environment. Now, ET has been home all along, and we can enable the digital engineering models to pay off for better operating decisions. Interesting. So, Greg, with, with that in mind, with that focus on the IT, the, the OT, and the ET, I have a few questions in, in, in regarding that, those environments. Um, so, with the rise of the industrial Internet of Things, today is certainly driving a convergence of this of these 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 environments the IT the OT what what can engineering technology bring to the table and what can it add to this and why is this so important to you well the engineering technology behind the plants we operate today in effect was their digital dna at when they were when the engineers did their work their optioneering and their design intent is captured in those digital engineering models. The digital engineering models uh, are persisted. They're, they're, they're 3D models, they're schematics, they can be related together, and they can help to improve decisions during operations when we're observing conditions and, and working out uh, what the situation is. What we need from that stream of big data are to make actionable decisions, which can be better done with the digital engineering models serving as the baseline, if you like, the frame of reference for the operational decisions. Putting that together is the convergence that can best pay off, given that the owners have already invested in the digital engineering models that serve as the DNA for the operating baseline of the plant. So Greg, what are the key business benefits um, or business value that the, that the owners can derive from going beyond just asset performance monitoring to asset performance modeling? Well, it's decisions to improve operations that are the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Monitoring is going to provide lots of information. It's the modeling from the intended baseline, the digital DNA of the plant that's going to provide the actionable decisions to provide the business benefits of saving energy, improving safety, reliability. Uh, an example would be, for instance, if uh, we're monitoring progressive corrosion and we can derive implications for the thickness of our pipe walls, for instance. The digital engineering models could continually reanalyze, for instance, the pipe stress effects to make sure we're still operating safely. So monitoring is good. Modeling makes it valuable. And remember, as far as business benefits, the owners have already invested 
in the digital engineering models, the work of the engineers mm -hmm. to create and construct the plant in the first place. Mm, that makes a lot of sense. So what are, your, what are, your, what are the greatest challenges being voiced uh, to, to you by the owners against the adoption of these technologies, the, of these, um, these emerging technologies. In other words, what are you, what are you seeing as, uh, in your opinion, what are you seeing as the biggest barriers to the, to the success of, of adoption, of adopting these emerging technologies? Well, I think owners uh, reasonably are, are embracing uh, OT and, and seeing how IT and history can help with that. The challenge to further leveraging the digital engineering models that the engineers have created in this industrial internet of things is really low expectations. The digital engineering models, the digital DNA of the plant looks inscrutable. It's 3D models, it's schematics and so forth. And normally those have not been put in service to the operating plant. The fact is though, that the, uh, that the semantics from the schematics and the tags and so forth can be related together and indexed and then geo-coordinated with what we call a continuous survey of the plant that can be created now from digital photography and what we call continuous surveying. So when, when owners understand that it doesn't have to be all or nothing and that you can have an as-operated 3D model of any plant from these technologies, including and especially starting with the drones and UAVs that, are, that they know are gonna be part of their maintenance and operating fleet. The quick win is to create a 3D as operated model, what we call a reality mesh of the plant environment, to which then all the available information, including the digital engineering models created by the engineers, can be referenced and indexed geospatially to provide an immersive and intuitive environment in which to take further advantage of the OT and the IT, bringing it together in this converged world. Owners now recognize they will be investing in, in UAVs and remote inspection, be able to continually difference the changes in the plant during construction and operations. It's not something which is so formidable to begin. You can start in any plant, in any part of the plant, and have payoff immediately. Mm -hmm. It would seem like they would, this would catch on with the operations people right away. Um, last year, um, you announced two important acquisitions <clears throat> for Mentally Systems, Amulet for operational analytics and the Acute 3D for capturing the as-is conditions or what I would say is maybe the existing physical world around, around us from digital photometry. Um, how have you integrated these acquisitions into your company at this time and have they opened up any new markets for you? Well, Dick, in, uh, our company's now 30 years old. We're about $600 million, 3,000 people in the world. We have uh, a history of creating digital engineering models and are now dedicated to exploiting those for the benefit of asset owners. All of the benefit is for the owners. So we're acquiring technologies, when you say here, new age of innovation, that will help us attract and leverage even the digital natives in our, in our next generation. So you mentioned Amulet. Amulet is the first acquisition which enables us to bring into our environment not only the engineering data, but the environmental and economic data, which are part of sensing the world and operating on that sense data in terms of analytics to make decisions, for instance, to save energy and, and improve operations through alarms and filters that are, that are applied to leverage the digital engineering models. So our intention is to have predictive analytics be imbued into everything else mm -hmm. we do. The same is true of our acquisition of Acute 3D, the reality modeling software that lets the digital photographs acquired by UAVs, by video, even by just smartphones in a plant, be put together into this reality mesh to serve as the immersive environment in which the geo-coordinated information can, can all be attached. That now is a function that's part of everything we do. In our engineering environment, the digital engineering tools to create the digital engineering models now incorporates the reality meshes acquired through Acute 3D 
for every operating plant so that you can juxtapose the as-operated models with the as-designed models. We've been working on the as-designed models for 30 years. To now be able to incorporate as a frame of reference the as-operated models and derive from those the comparisons and differences and trends and asset integrity, reliability, and so forth, they're all better served by putting those together. We're very enthusiastic about that. It's part of everything we do going forward. Thank you, Greg. Cheers, Dick. Today, I've been with Greg Bentley, CEO of Bentley Systems, and we've been discussing the convergence of IT and OT, and now Bentley, Bentley Systems, is bringing in the element of engineering technology to this convergence. Thank you.